In the Longwood section of our borough, Bronxites are saying goodbye to the summer season as local officials and organizations hold the second part of the Longwood Music Festival. Well, the first part was held earlier this summer, if you remember, and the festivities have been going on for most of the day. So let's send things over to News 12's Faith Graham, who's there right now in Faith. How's it going? Well, Phil, a lot of fun is being had here. This is happening on Dawson Street, right next to Bill Brainy Park. You can probably hear that music, and when you walk through the crowd, you can really just feel the energy and the excitement. You can also smell the delicious food. I mean, what better place to spend a Saturday? Today's festival is being hosted by Council Member Rafael Salamanca Jr. and the Hispanic Federation. Performing here today was the Queen of Salsa La India and four-time Grammy Award nominee Charlie Aponte. Bronx Lights had a chance to not just enjoy the music and the weather, but also some carnival games and food from around the borough. There's pony rides, Italian ices, and dozens of small businesses that have set up shop along the perimeter. The first part of this festival was held back in the beginning of the summer and also drew a huge crowd, but I've got to say, it seems like even more people came out today. I feel the love and I feel the happiness that everybody's feeling. The weather's nice and we're outside. <laughs> um, it's just a happy environment. You get to see your friends that you haven't seen for so long. We all get it together and celebrating the Latino culture. I mean, it's just a happy and fun moment. Councilmember Salamanca says this is his seventh year hosting the event, and to be able to host his constituents right here in his own backyard is priceless. To be able to bring this concert and let everyone know COVID still exists, but if we protect ourselves, we get vaccinated, have proper precautions, we can still have fun. And that's exactly what we're doing today. A very fun and exciting night. It's safe to say that everybody is already looking forward to next year's festival. That's the latest from Longwood. Faith Graham, News 12.